Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to look at the Laplace transform of a function times e to the at. The Laplace transform of such a function is given by the first translation theorem. That says that if the Laplace of f of t is equal to f of s, for example, the function 1 over s is the Laplace transform of 1. So our function would be Laplace of 1 equals 1 over s. That would be like our f of t and our f of s. Then Laplace of f of t e to the a t is equal to f of s minus a. This produces a shift on the s axis. For example, if we had like Laplace of 1, that would just be 1 over s. If you had something like Laplace of 1 times e to the a t, that would be 1 over s minus a. So that's exactly what happens is our Laplace of 1 gets shifted to the right to a. So our vertical asymptote, which was at 0, is now at a. And now it gets shifted to the right a unit. So that's a Laplace transform of 1 times e to the a t. So let's look at an example here. So our example says find the Laplace transform of this function sine of 2t e to the 3t. So what we got to do is identify f of t. So f of t is equal to sine of 2t. So sine of 2t is equal to f of t. So that's our first step is identify what f of t is going to be. Also here a is 3 and here k is 2 for sine. So what's Laplace of f of t? So f of s is going to equal Laplace of sine of 2t. What's Laplace of sine of 2t? Well, we should know that one by heart now. It's going to be 2 over s squared plus 4. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the first translation theorem and say, okay, that's going to shift to s minus 3. So f of s minus 3 is going to be Laplace transform of sine of 2t e to the 3t. So that's going to be f of s minus 3, which is going to be, now just plug in s minus 3 right here for s. So that's going to be 2 over s minus 3 squared plus 4. And that would be our Laplace transform of this function sine 2t e to the 3t. It's just a shifted sine transform with a frequency of 2 here, but this is just a shifted sine transform.